It's a lovely sea of healthy yellow canola. Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So what we're going to do today is make sure both of our two fields are really productive. We might do another contract, it depends how we go. Um, but yes, first of all, thank you so much to the viewer who is on the screen now. Uh, you're an absolute genius and I want to thank you so much for helping me with fixing the issue I've got with the hand tools. Uh, basically the R key. Nothing that uses the R key was working for me before, so I couldn't change my tyres in the configuration page, I couldn't use the pressure washer, couldn't feed the dog, uh, couldn't cut a tree down, so much stuff, couldn't cover a silage pit over, but it's now been fixed by this fantastic viewer who has taken the trouble to obviously sort the issue out for themselves and successfully done it, and because of their very helpful comments I can now do all these different things, and hopefully um, this viewer can help you as well. Uh, the, the way they're going to do this is by me now showing you what they said. So this isn't exactly what it said word for word, but essentially if you're running for example a G27 stone wheel and you're having the issue, unless of course the patch has been put out, where you can't use the hand tool, what you need to do is go onto your options page just here, you just go onto the gamepad controls and go down to activate objects. Now, if under the gamepad controls you have something in the activate object box just here, you need to get rid of it. Um, so to do that, you just basically click on there and press backspace. That will remove anything you have. Um, then you need to go onto the keyboard controls and just basically make sure you do have R or whatever your chosen key is selected for this control. Um, now, I'm not going to guarantee this is going to work and hopefully it won't mess your game up. So definitely save things beforehand before you do this if you're a bit concerned about that. I can't see why it would mess something up because all you're doing is changing your key binding but yeah just in case um, do save things. So you'll see that now from doing that I can use the pressure washer we can clean stuff because I've had viewers say why don't you just clean your tractors but I can't I couldn't do I could not clean them but now we can. So here is the first customer this is our customer for the pressure washer and today we're not only going to do this but we're also going to swap the wheels over for the row crop tyres since this tractor is currently doing quite a bit of uh, work with the sprayer. Ah, oh, it really deserves this. There you go, Massey Ferguson and the new holler needs to be done too so um, we'll bring it over in a minute. I need to go and get it, I've just been uh, finishing off the drilling. Um, it did take a little while to do, but it's all done. We have two lovely fields of canola, or two lovely fields of uh, crop grown. We have one canola and one oat field, um, and yes, they both look very good. So, let's put it into here. We may need to get the sprayer out again today uh, for herbicide and possibly actually for some more liquid fertilizer for field 25. But this is the first time I've been able to use the workshop. I've had it here all this time. Uh, I do have quite a few things in this area, so chances are it's not going to select the tractor. No, and you can't cycle through different things, so uh, we have to move things out of the way first. Okay, so here we go, you can see we've got the operating hours, 6.2 hours, the age is 7 days, so a very new tractor, the current value and also the condition, so if we wanted to we could repair it. We don't need to, but I'm going to show you this anyway if you haven't got the game, so currently condition is pretty good, but not 100%. Um, I don't know if it increases the value, you'd have thought it would do. It's going to cost us $298, so not too much. Yes, it has increased the value, so definitely worth doing before you sell a tractor. It looks like it does put quite a bit of, uh, well not an awful lot of value, but a bit of value back onto the tractor. Um, so you have to decide if it is worth it or not. Anyway, yeah, that was that, and I, I need to uh, configure it, so we've gone to the customise page, it goes back into the store and we can choose the different wheels. Now it's going to be a cost to us. We are, we're going to have to buy this. Um, it is, actually no, maybe no, 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 I'm wrong. It's free. It is free. Good. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, we can now put these wheels on. Perfect for spraying. Right, so uh, yes, that is going to be put to one side just for the moment. Um, I think it probably is going to be used again very soon for the spraying, but first we have to go and grab the T5, which is just here. And as you can see, the crop is already growing, looking very healthy, and the field is so much bigger than it ever used to be, as you can see on this page in a second. 
Um, oh, I don't know, I missed a bit, though. Yes, much bigger. Which page is best to go on? Uh, there we go. It's a big field. So is this one here? Let's head off. Let's go back over to the farm. And I want to check the contract page to see if we do have a harvesting job. I would love to use the John Deere Combine Harvesters. I've yet to use them properly on this map. So, yeah, that's, that's what I really want to do. I always run over the stop sign. It's quite annoying. Anyway, here we are. Let's put it back behind the shed. I think if we keep everything attached, it'll be alright. Um, in fact, chances are that is never going to be used without the power harrow. It will always be one unit. So, uh, yes, there we go. Good. Now to give this tractor a clean. Just look how dirty it is in the window. Really dirty. That's better. Much better. Okay. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but that is still very good anyway. Uh, lovely clean window to see through. So we'll put this over here. And we'll take a look at the jobs. There might be a job which we can use with our machines, but like I said, I want to do the combining job if we can do. Yeah, I haven't had many jobs recently, although this one looks very tempting. Uh, I'd love to use the JCB Fast Track, but that would be a bit of a waste of our money because it is only... Actually, it's 4.3 acres, which is quite a, a big field um, for this map. It's, in real life, that is not much at all. But, yeah, that is um, tempting. If I take a look at Film 27 first... 27, yeah, that is pretty big. Because uh, we own Film 25, and that took us a very long time to work in. 27 is bigger. So we're going to take this tractor, and before anybody says anything, the reason for this is to experience the tractor, not to make a load of money. I love using the different tractors, so that's what we're going to do. Um, we do have a front weight, which we don't necessarily need, but we'll put it on there anyway. So this is the 4220, which I haven't used yet, actually. I've, I've never used it, except for on, in the garage tour. There we go. Uh, so this is the interior. Seems spacious. Let's first of all get some contracting done. It should only take a few minutes with this big machine. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully then, we will have a bigger contracting job to do. There aren't that many showing up at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. I think this is it. It is, yeah. Um... So, as you can see, this is actually a four-wheel steer tractor, which I'm assuming you can change. Uh, it keeps going off. But yeah, you can do. Left control and Y, if you don't want to have four-wheel steer. But we do. Oh, that's crab steer. It has crab steer too. There we go. That's how it should be. So... Let's get this field cultivated, and then we'll obviously make our bit of money. It's about, I think it's about a thousand pounds maximum, maybe eight hundred pounds from this uh, because of the leasing fee. But yeah, we would never want to use a three meter power harrow on a field of this size. So we'll get this done really quickly, then we'll try and find another job to do.
there we go. We have actually finished. We'll go right to the end, though, just before we do complete the job. And we should get a few hundred pounds. Not a huge amount, but it's all extra. That could buy almost a pallet of seed. Good. Right, okay, so we need to complete it. Total, £624. Yeah, does seem quite low. Anyway, I won't do a transporting job. We've done quite a few of those. Let's just see if there's anything else. Nope, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how often it updates. So in the meantime, we'll just grab the Massey Ferguson tractor. And what we need to do is go over to fin number 25 and get it sprayed. Because if we go over here, you'll see exactly what the field state is and nothing has been fertilised. I think in the future I might actually use the T5 as the fertiliser tractor, the spraying tractor, since I want to keep the front loader on here and, well, you can still use it at the same time as having the front loader, but it's just a bit of an inconvenience at times, especially as we will most likely be transporting fertiliser and seed at the same time. So, for example, we might have to take a pallet of uh, fertiliser to the field while the spraying tractor is busy. Although I suppose you could take it at the same time as the sprayer. Um, yeah, you could do. Just a thought. Anyway, uh, this does need to be done. Desperately. There's much more to spray now as well. We should have plenty of fertilizer to go around. The good thing is it doesn't consume it very fast. Now please do let me know what you think of the game so far. Um, I have bought the game, the collector's edition which costs £40, which I received today and I pre-ordered it a while ago. I received the early access version of the game on the 15th I think it was. So five days before the official release, and I could have cancelled it at any time if I didn't like it, and I think this game is outstanding, and obviously that's the reason why I didn't cancel it. But I could have done. So if I genuinely didn't like it, and I'm just saying that I do like it, then I wouldn't have paid the £40. But I think it's absolutely brilliant. Obviously the bugs are an issue, but they should be fixed very soon. Um, so yeah, when that is sorted out, it might be sorted out now, the release of the video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, when I'm recording the video, there's no patch yet, except for 1.1. Uh, we're still awaiting another patch. Um, so if you don't like the game, if you do actually own the game and you don't like it, maybe you prefer 17, it's probably best to say why, um, because then if giants do see the video, which is unlikely, but if they do, they might read the comment section and they might see your comment saying why you prefer 17 or why you prefer 15, or why you just don't like any of it. If you give a constructive reason, then they can, they can work on it, but if you just say it's rubbish, then... Obviously, that's no help to anybody. Um, equally, if you love the game, like me, um, maybe say what you love, because then Giants can see what, you've, what they've done right and what they should keep in the next version. They might never see your comments. They might never see the video. But if they do, you should never know on the off chance. It could be very helpful. I think, as well, when the modders have got all their mods out, or some of their mods out, um, this game is just going to transform even further. Because if you look at 17, where that started, and then where it ended up, it was like, at the end, it was a totally different game. I won't say the end, actually, because it really isn't. Uh, even I'm continuing on 17 very soon with the Letton Farm series. It's, it's outstanding. It really is. That game is just... <laughs> it's just so good. And I'm hoping that this game is going to turn from a brilliant game, once the uh, bugs are fixed, to like what that was, just this unbelievably outstanding game, which is just so good. I've even seen some people say that 17 was perfect, so if 19 had turned to perfect as well, brilliant. That would be so good. Okay, so we're done. I don't know if we need to get the herbicide out, we'll see. Uh, yep, missed a bit on both. That is so frustrating. How have I done that? Anyway, um, yes, we do have weed on both as well. So it can't be severe, but we do have some weeds. Just trying to unload. <laughs> uh, there we go. Right, so let's go and fill it up with the herbicide. Might have to take that out of there. Can I get close enough? No. 
No. So, Manny 2. Time to do your work. Grab that pallet. That IBC. And we'll fill out. That should be enough. Hopefully. And I'll also turn the engine off. Okay. So, first 21st. And then if we do have time, we'll do for 25, but I, I do want to do a job. So this next harvest is going to be really big, since we have now extended both of our fields. They are considerably larger. They're, they're probably a third bigger. Each one is a third bigger. So we should make so much more money on the next harvest. Crop destruction is now switched on, but obviously I can't destroy the crop with the row crop tyres. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to use the standard tyres first of all. Now, because I have now got the chainsaw working, I could also cut some trees down. That is a really quick and easy way of making fast money. Uh, in fact, I'm very tempted to do that in a minute. We could use the gator. We could, we could use the gator. I'm getting too excited. Uh, get some wood, take it to the sawmill, and make a, a bit of money. I don't know how much it's worth, but we'll soon find out. So let me really quickly finish the field and we'll do that. I don't want to take too many trees down, but just some of them. This should conclude the spraying of the weeds, hopefully. Um, and then, I think probably later today, because we've got crop growth on fairly fast, since otherwise we'll be spending quite a bit of time just waiting, we'll be harvesting. It'll be most likely in the next episode. I'll just check and see if I have covered everything. I might have missed a, a small section just over there, nearer to the road. I'll take a look. Um, so back onto this page and we'll find out. Yes, I have missed a piece over here. So I'll just really quickly do that. I reckon it's about here. The crop also doesn't seem to be going inside the tractor's cab as much. It is going in a little bit, but nothing like what it used to. Just entering through the glass a bit. But yeah, big improvement. Very big. In fact, can we see it coming back up behind? Yep, it's not going through the sprayer either. Okay, so there we go. That is done. Perfect. Uh, right, okay. I'm getting too excited. Things are going well. I'm very happy now that the uh, the issue has been sorted by my fabulous viewer. Um, so let's just put this into here. There we go. Good. Uh, hello, Mr. Sniff. For the first time ever I can actually feed you. Here you go. How do we feed you? Feed. There you go. Feeding. Yes. Yes. Mr. Sniff, get down from there. Mr. Sniff! Get down. I give up with you. Come on, birds. Let's clear the place. Right, so I know exactly what to do with this uh, gator. I need to somehow find an efficient method of removing the seed bag, and I suppose the front loader would be a good way, but I can actually tip it. So here we go. I'll put the back down first. Give it an opportunity. Oh, don't go berserk. No, I've emptied it into my gator. No. That didn't go to plan. Great. Um. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on. If I go over to the drill, I wonder if I can unload it to it. I bet I can. I reverse up to it. Otherwise, I'm a bit stuck. Hmm. Um, yeah, so that did not go to plan. So I was hoping just to tip it, but I somehow managed to empty it into here. Maybe it just aligned itself too well. Interesting. Well, it does actually recognise the seed to be in there because it's got a fill capacity, that gator. So maybe if I just attach to the seed drill, I can miraculously teleport it from there to here. 
Failing that, we'll have to tip it in the shed and pick it up with the uh, front loader. Scoop it up. Right, uh, that is selecting the drill. Yeah, it's not refilling. Really okay, well that's that's all right, I suppose. Just me being silly. Um, yeah, we'll just tip it out. It's not wasted. I can still use it unless I can somehow put it back in the bag. Let's say refill, doesn't it? No, I've refilled the whole thing. Oh well. Um, yeah, if I just tip it in the shed, it needs to be scooped up fairly quickly though. Otherwise, this is obviously going to create a bit of a mess. And it's not too much of a problem. Right. So, over to our woodland. <laughs> if you can call it woodland. Our clump of trees. I don't know how many we're going to cut down. Just a few. Just, well, maybe actually one. Because it's going to fill this very quickly. It's purely a test to see how much money the wood is worth. And to boost our money. Just a bit. Just to... Uh, improve our figure. So we'll go for somewhere that is fairly dense already. It's not many places, but there might be a slightly dense place. Uh, where should we go? Yeah, it's quite sparse. I guess this one here. This one here. It's as dense as it's going to get. Oh, I can't rotate the chainsaw yet, though. Great. Um, I'll look into it. What I've done is I've actually disabled the uh, steering wheel completely and it has allowed me to now rotate the uh, chainsaw so there we go it's rotatable uh, definitely some kind of conflict with the steering wheel which is causing this issue uh, in fact it was posted on twitter by giants so they're, they're fully aware of it so there we go there's our tree nice and now we can uh, chop it up and try and get some money for it. Are these substantial branches? I think they might be. Nope. Okay. So, into manageable chunks. Something that we can pick up. Uh, yep, that's good. That sort of thing, if they are too big, then I'll have to just cut them up smaller. In the future we can use the tractor and front loader, but not today because it means buying a log fork, which we, we can afford, but it's just not really on the priority list. So there we go. Everything is chopped up. And we're quite strong, so we can pick these up and put them in here. Uh, and uh, I can also <laughs> damage the gator while I'm at it. Probably not a good idea to uh, hit the windows. I'm really hoping I can fit it in. It seems extreme trying to fit an entire fully grown tree into here, it's probably going to do a wheelie, uh, but it is tempting, it's very tempting. That is one of the things I've always loved about farming so much, it's just so addictive, you know, pushing things to the limit, seeing how the game will react if you do something. It's a good way of crashing it, but at the same time, it's fun. Although probably not recommended, <laughs> I probably wouldn't recommend uh, pushing the game to its limit. Okay, they're starting to roll, uh, which is going to make it difficult to keep things in. Ah, you know what, I think I might just about be able to fit them in. It's going to be tough. It's also pretty heavy. Okay, that's sitting there. Good. And finally, we have just a few. I can't believe it's actually fitting. They do stack very well. And I also probably should have brought the gator a bit closer. There we go. How many left? Two? Well, one that's worthwhile, but we do actually have two here. It's going to be tricky to get the last one on. Um, it could be possible. Ah, yes. Surplus to requirements. Fantastic, then. Um, that's all strapped on. I can't use the <laughs> I can't use the steering wheel, so I have to just use the keyboard 
for this final piece, but that is that is quite impressive. Okay, so it's right at the top of the map, which means we have to go up the very steep hill. Um, but yeah, I think the little gator will be able to do it. Shouldn't be too difficult for it. So off we go. I can't believe we're carrying a fully grown tree just on the gator. It's a really tough machine, clearly. I wouldn't be surprised if we did get about a thousand pounds for this, uh, which is way more than the job we just did. And we're finally here. Very windy up here too. So, yes, at some point I'd love to buy some of these fields. It's actually quite a nice place. It's it's an open place, but um, it's just a nice feeling to it. And I, I can't really drive with just the steering wheel. Um, yeah, can't have any gradual turns. Anyway, here we are. I think this is the place. Yep. So where do we go to? Is it just here? Uh, it's a good question. I think it's just here. What does this say? Sell wood. Ah! So you don't just drive through the trigger anymore. £1,196. That is brilliant. That is very good. Um, so I'm pleased with that. I thought it might be something, a, a good figure like that. It's going to be really helpful in the future for us to expand the farm without having to buy anything else. We have to just get a chainsaw, get the gator, and bring some wood up to here. So on that fairly positive end, uh, very positive end, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.